Hello everybody, it's Neil Griffiths again and yes, it's story time. And today I'm in my friends Karen and David's garden. They've got a lovely garden and I've got a lovely garden too. I love being in my garden because it's always so colourful and I love it that there are so many creepy insects. And do you know what? This year I've had more butterflies than ever and I love butterflies. And this story just might be about a butterfly. It's called If Only. And look, a little caterpillar. And here is that caterpillar. Now, caterpillars love stinging nettles. That's what they eat a lot of, a lot of them. And this little caterpillar was hiding beneath a stinging nettle leaf. And he thought, I'm not staying here. I want to see that beautiful garden. And do you know what? Oh, he spotted a gorgeous, gorgeous red poppy. But it wasn't the poppy that caught his eye. Inside the poppy was a gorgeous stripy bumblebee. Oh, the caterpillar looked at him and thought, oh, I'd love to be yellow, yellow and black and all stripy. If only I could be a bumblebee. But he wasn't a bumblebee. He was a little caterpillar. So the caterpillar crept further into the garden and next it saw the most gorgeous purple iris. Oh, I like purple, thought the caterpillar. But it wasn't the flower he was looking at. Oh, inside was a beautiful dragonfly and the light caught his wings just like a rainbow. Oh, I'd love to have rainbow dazzly wings just like a dragonfly, thought the caterpillar. But he wasn't a dragonfly. He was just a little caterpillar. Then he saw a pink petunia. But he could hear beautiful singing from coming right from inside and inside. It was a grasshopper that was singing so beautifully. La 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 la, me 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 me. Oh, if only I could sing like a grasshopper. But caterpillars can't sing. Then, oh, the finest flower in the garden. A beautiful yellow sunflower. Oh, but guess what? Right inside the middle of the flower was a gorgeous spotty ladybird. Oh, oh I want to be red and black and spotty. Oh if only I could be. But I know I can't be because I'm just a caterpillar. But the caterpillar was feeling sleepy and he saw a big flower pot and was just about to... Inside was a cobweb. Oh, it was so beautiful and it had been made by a garden spider if only I could make lovely cobwebs, thought the caterpillar. But caterpillars can't make cobwebs. But I think I'll go to sleep right now inside. And do you know what's clever about caterpillars? Caterpillars, they can, they're like a sewing machine. They can sew. They can spin round and round and a little thread comes out of their tail and round and round and round and they make a beautiful sleeping bag and it's called a cocoon. Well, the caterpillar worked and worked and worked and made his very own cocoon and oh, he snuggled up inside oh, 
and went fast asleep. For fourteen days and fourteen nights he slept. But then something funny happened. Oh, he thought, oh, I do feel different. And oh, it's so squashed in here. So he pushed and he squeezed and he squeezed and he pushed 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 and he pushed. Oh! What's happened to you, Caterpillar? Look! Look! What has happened? Oh! He was all crumpled. But he didn't look like our Caterpillar. But the sun began to warm his wings. And look! Inside the sleeping bag our caterpillar had turned into a beautiful peacock butterfly. Oh, I didn't know that I was going to become a beautiful butterfly. If only I'd have